welcome everyone. Call the meeting to order. Uh, can we, any comments? The minutes from the last time have been circulated. Do we have any additions or deletions? No, I think they're good. Okay. I'd like to make a motion to accept. Good. Accepted. Great. Okay. Uh, next, we have a report from the health inspector. Ben is not with us tonight. Uh, however, um, he did inform me that he's passed his uh, Title V uh, exam, which is really great news. Wonderful. And um, he will be transitioning over the next month or so, however long he needs, still working with Kevin Quinlan until mm -hmm. he gets his sea legs. And then um, he will be able to take over our Title V. So that's, uh, that's really great. Uh, Peter, do we have an update on current link? So very briefly, uh, we met with uh, the permanent link people on Tuesday in the town hall. And long and short of it is that um, they are apparently done building our database mm -hmm. based upon the spreadsheets that I've sent them. Um, in terms of food establishments in town. Um, so from my viewpoint, the next step is Permalink is coming in, Permalink person is coming into the town hall again next Tuesday. And together we're going to run an outbound uh, email campaign to the food establishments in Hadley, alerting them to the fact that they need to renew um, there are permits for 2023. Number two, uh, we're now digital. Mm -hmm. So what that means is that they need to fill out the form, the application mm -hmm. form, and it doesn't come to me anymore. Right. It goes electronically to the software, if you will. Um, we, along those lines, we've also worked with our town treasurer to allow for electronic That's payment. That's terrific. Okay. So it's kind of a, you know. It'll be a huge. Yeah, it's like one step for man, one step for man, kind, <laughs> okay. of, kind of thing. You know, so it's only 50 years late. But um, so we're, we're making progress there. Uh, again, I haven't used the software yet. Tuesday, next Tuesday will be the right, first So you'll time. let us know what you think. And yeah. how does Ben figure into this? So, so, so Ben, our health inspector, he's going to be using the software in a different way. Mm -hmm. He's using it. Um, he's using the part of the software that facilitates the uh, food inspection um, documentation, mm -hmm. collection of data, so on and so forth. Um, so Ben met separately with the Permanent Lake people with regards to his specifications that he's looking for. Mm -hmm. um, when I spoke with Ben earlier today, it sounded like they were going to... Uh, meet most of his specifications or demands. Um, there are still a couple areas that um, will require some more work on permit links side. Right, but he's, so Ben is working directly with permit link. Right. Okay. So because again, he's using it completely mm -hmm. differently from what I'm, I'm doing, yeah. completely differently. That doesn't mean that he won't access the database that we have mm -hmm. of existing permit, uh, permitted uh, businesses in town. Um, so, um, so anyway, so he's working directly with Scott on that. Okay. So it's kind of like now two paths, okay. you know, one product. Good. Um, so that's kind of where we're at. It's nice Thank that you. There's movement there. Mm -hmm. uh, budget update. Do we have any updates to the budget? Yeah. So um, I sent to you guys, I think it was last week. Um, you know, my first draft of the budget that needs to be submitted to Carolyn and to uh, Linda, the town treasurer. Um, it's due next week. Um, so what I did is, um, I don't know if you had a chance to look at it or not, but essentially what I did is I kept everything level from the current fiscal year mm -hmm. with a few exceptions as we discussed last time we met, that being uh, the our inspector would be uh we would budget for 40 hours a week instead of 18. Okay. would budget uh 10 hours a week versus seven for what's me. that we will we will uh budget 10 hours right. versus seven right. for yeah. me um we put money back into the budget for community health we put in a thousand dollars 
Um, we still have money in there for the nurse. We never took it out. Um, so that's in there. And we have conference. We have education. Uh, 500 for education, yeah. right? Yes, we do. Um, that's what I run. So is there anything else at this point? So that would go for any trainings mm -hmm. that conferences, you know, trainings, certifications, yeah. or us too. Like if we wanted to yeah. be a MAPA board member or MHOA. Yeah. Yeah. So for tuition slash meetings, we, we put aside a thousand. Do you think we should make it more than 500? Are there stuff that you, I mean, we have it's a couple like, of organizations that we belong so to, I, but I put in a thousand dollars. I think that's more. Oh, for, uh, education. Good. Oh, okay. Perfect. Yeah. That's good. okay. Good. Okay. Cause that'll cover both. Cause Ben probably want to do some. Yeah. Yeah. Training. Yeah. I don't know. He I may want to go on a well training, you know, who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? But so in any event, if you have nothing to add, at this point, I don't. The first, I'll send the first draft to I'm Linda and yeah, okay. to Carolyn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, send it uh, again. This is just the first yep. step. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I'm, I'm sure Emily, you've gone through this before. It's going to be like five or six different iterations before we get it approved. So, yep. but uh, it's due next week. I want to get it out tomorrow. Yeah, thank you, Peter. Um, because next week's going to be a little busy. Most appreciated. Okay. Uh, Biobot update. Uh, were you, did you work to get that um, on the website? Were you going to work with Margaret on that? I wasn't. I don't remember that as an action item for me, but I could. Can you do that? It's not. It's not an emergency, but I would love to. I, I think it's important to get that data. Yep. Put up on our website. I'll make that an action item for me. Okay. Thanks, yep. Donna. Yeah. I know we had talked about it last time. She was that she was going to work with Alex on that, or anyway, I don't. Work, I, talk, yeah, talk to Margaret and see if we can do that. Um, we did uh, offer a job, the nursing job. Uh, and I'm trying to look at the name. Um, it's, it's Debbie something, right? Yeah, uh, I love that she already has boots on the ground here and seems excited. Debbie Marquet uh, is her name. Debbie is, uh, Emma, you were not available. To, she has um, a lot of experience, uh, public health experience, experience kind of, you know, running agencies, larger mm -hmm. scale. Nice. Uh, a lot of geriatrics experience. Super. And uh, is basically reached a point in her career where she she wants to downsize yeah and she's very excited about the job and i you know i, I think she, we both thought she was terrific awesome um and uh jen has cleared her i believe she's already signed on to the job and she is going to meet with Haley. so good uh, because the two of them very collaborative need to, position. Need to be able to. So when, when does she actually start? After the first of the year. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and she and Haley will, you know, collaborate. You know, you're, you're a public health nurse person. You, at some point when you have time, you can meet her. And I can't wait to meet her. If you have any ideas or, yeah. you know, we, we basically just told her generally to work with Haley and, you know, have a presence here, mm -hmm. a regular you know, twice a week for certain blocks of time and to be circulating yep. and find out what the needs are and well, you know, people excited. want to talk or presentations or that's exactly what I was gonna yeah. say. So, so about I, had, that. I had talked to her about that. So I think Haley will probably have some ideas on that as well. So yeah, if you whatever you want to initiative you want to take with it, that would be really uh terrific. Um We, we, I do want to hear from you the plastic bag ban update. I'm just trying to think if we, okay, I did get uh, another 1,500 test kits from the state. Holy moly. They are expire the end of January. Okay. Um, I brought them here to the senior center, and Shane has a group that put the stickers on them. Excellent. The new expiration stickers. Do you... Can you distribute some? Can I bring some by your place? Yes, that'd be fine. Can you take um, like 200 of them? Sure. Um, I know the school, I believe, I'm not sure if the school distributed some before Thanksgiving. It was well received. 
And then I know we've done some other community organizations and, yeah, and people are know, really thoughtful and it's a great time of year because people are congregating right. more. Churches mm-hmm. is any, they can go anywhere. Yeah. There's no, you know, any place that people, I'm going to bring some up to Jen because she gives them yeah. out in the town hall. Wonderful. And I'll reach out. The library wants more yeah. and I'll check with DPW. And, and But if you know of anybody, I'll have them. I keep them at my house because we don't have any storage space. But yes, if you can think, any of you can think of any place where they would be, you know, Confused. easy to. Uh, is there some kind of event at, at the Hadley School at Hopkins? Something about lighting the. That already happened. That yeah, oh, already happened. I missed. We were there. It's on YouTube. We, we were both there. Yeah. Uh, there was a fire truck. Yep. Is there any, are there any other events, holiday events planned um, in town? Usually, we'll, be, we'll it, actually take some because they're going to be doing a lot of sporting events right. um, coming up. Sporting, sporting events coming up. Oh, um, good. So, so how do I get those? They're, they're all doors. Um, you can just give them to Peter and Peter can email me. Yeah. Okay. I wonder, yeah. Greg Park and Rec, right? Mm-hmm. And then I immediately think of like the high school um, winter concert that's coming up on the 21st, which lots of families and students will be there. Oh, so wait, I can go and give them out. When yeah. is that? Is that? Well, I'm going. As oh, can I give them to you? Yes. To, I, I did that at the town meeting, and people were very happy to take them. And you just tell them, take as many as you can. Okay, so I'll, will you remind me to bring some by your house yes. before then? Because I forget. Yeah, it's a good good point because, again, this, this time of year, people are congregating. People oh, are coming yeah. in. Now into town is... and going out of town. Well, or... and I think even like when, for me, quick glance at the trends of the biobot data, it was very, and a very anticipated and expected spike in the wastewater post Thanksgiving. Yeah. Which is also really what we've seen community wise in terms of illness, right. not just with COVID, but RSV flu, all the respiratory stuff yeah. that's so it's shaking just gonna, around. It, so. it will continue to increase through the holiday yeah. season. So I, the more, it's you wonderful. know, I asked for the test kits. I think the more we mm-hmm. get out, the, you know, it's a service that the state's offering them for free, and we should uh, take advantage of it. So anyway. I'm excited about that. Okay. Uh, Peter, there's, I thought there's not a key for me. There is not. Kevin Kevin took the last one. Okay, I thought you had another one. I, I did, He, but he took the last one Tuesday when he was in. Okay. So I can order one. I can't tell you. Yeah, can you do that? Just, I, I just do it. I just, I feel a little uncomfortable not having a key to the right. office. So. Yeah. Right. Um, I think I might. That would be great. I think it's in there. Okay. Plastic bags, Dan. Okay. Yeah. So um, I really don't have a lot because I've been busy with work and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but I believe the next step. Um, I think we should obviously maybe Peter have a discussion with Carolyn um, just in terms of where we're going to go with it in terms of mobilizing the bylaw as it's written so we can get those official waivers um, so we can accept them. So I, I think the proposal is that we need to post that we would like to have a public hearing um, about the plastic bag ban um, and discuss the I forget the specific wording of it, but how to apply for a waiver or something like that. Yeah. So is this the Board of Health's responsibility? Mm -hmm. In the bylaw, it's written as the Board of Health. Well, giving the waiver, evaluating and giving the waiver is the Board of Health's responsibility, but the select board, they're the ones who, who, who have created and voted through this initiative. I mean, shouldn't they be in charge of some kind of the meeting? Well, so let's let me pull up the Google Drive folder that I made for this issue. Where the hell? Plastic bag band. So when I look specifically at the bylaw at the bottom, no, my thing's not scrolling because that's fun. Here I highlighted it. Um, it talks about that the bylaw is enforced by the town administrator or their designee, so that's not us. Um, but here in terms of hardship deferrals on poor, on upon written application of the Board of Health after a public hearing, the Board of Health may defer application of any section of this bylaw for up to one year. 
Right. So and that's written that we're having a right. So basically, the town hall is responsible for enacting the plastic bag ban, for getting information out to the businesses, mm -hmm. for um, uh, policing. Correct. And the Board of Health is responsible for evaluating if people apply for a waiver. Right. Which they can get for up to a year. Correct. We're the ones who who do that. Correct. So, I mean, it would seem to me that the town should be having the open meeting so people can come, businesses can come and ask their questions about it. And at that time, they could be instructed how they would apply for a waiver. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, certainly I'm only reading this as my own thing. It, the way I read it is that the Board of Health has the hearing, but I think it certainly warrants a discussion with Carolyn. Well, we would have the hearing right. when people wanted a waiver. Mm -hmm. And I, th I think we've already gotten communication from one person from a, a ministry organization that they are interested you, in a waiver. Or, do you have any bandwidth to discuss this with Carolyn yeah. and see I mean what I don't what I don't want is I don't want the responsibility for this plastic bag ban to fall mm -hmm. to the Board of Health. Yep. And I think there is a danger. I sense that there's a danger of that happening. Mm. Um, I have not seen Town Hall do, I have not seen any proactive right. um, measures, meetings, announcements um, on the part of the town to work with the businesses to let them know what's coming and to let them know what, what the process is. Mm -hmm. And while we're a part of that process, I don't think we need to be, I don't think it's appropriate for us to be the ones leading the initiative. Mm. I think the concern from people who would probably be approved for a waiver is that they're, they're worried about not being approved and then all of a sudden something happening and being fined or whatever. I think that's the worry. Yeah. But I hear you and I agree with you. So just to clarify in my own little brain, um, it sounds like we have not, we being the town, town government has not reached out to right. the local establishment right. to, to explain, okay, here's what it is. It's starting January 1st. Oh, by the way, here's how you go about requesting a hardship Wait, wait uh, deferment. Defer that's the way it's worded. Yeah, hardship defer. So none of that has happened. Right. Other than people who are very savvy with town stuff and probably attended the town meeting right. and were part of the discussion. You know, people who are in the... That's a pretty small percentage yeah. of our business. Correct. Right. right. So... Yeah, so I think I think step one is having that discussion with Carolyn right. in terms of right. so, where are we in this so, story so and you, setting so, up... So are you doing that or am I doing Appropriately I and I don't know setting up boundaries. Okay, you know, like what what is appropriate for us to do. Okay, so I mean, I spoke with Jane about three weeks ago. You know, expressing my concern that nothing had gone out, and uh, you know, I I just I, I can't. I mean, we have many things that we are in charge of and that we're responsible for here on the Board of Health, and I don't see this as one of them, and I don't want it to be put on our plate. So what, I mean, so, I mean, you had a conversation with Jane, but did she, was there any updates or no? No. Nothing? <clears throat> no. Um, and, uh, you know, again, I would say, again, our job on the Board of Health is to review hardship, hardship deferrals. And that's, deferrals. that's our job. Yep. And we will do it. We will do, we'll figure out we'll, yep. what 
criteria to use and it will be public what the criteria are. I mean, we're not going to, you know, we'll be very transparent. Correct. Um, in the process. And am I thinking you'll be able to, you know, work us through that? Mm -hmm. Um, but that's, 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 that's mm -hmm. our piece of that pie. Yep. And the rest of it is not our, our piece of the pie. 100%. So I, I would like for us to be ready. Yep. But I don't want us to have to take on more than, than that. Understood. Okay. Does that make sense? That totally makes sense. Comments, rebuttals, thoughts? I, I mean, I'm, I'm welcome to it all. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 only, the only thing I'm thinking is more of a statement than a question. Um, I, I think I'm envisioning if somebody applies for a hardship referral that you guys, the board members, would discuss that in one of our meetings. Mm -hmm. Would we invite or would you invite the party that's yeah i think i think there's there's going to be a whole process mm -hmm. that emma will you know delineate and yes we'll be transparent we'll meet with you know whatever whatever is appropriate mm -hmm. you know we're not going to huddle in the corner and decide you know who we grant something to and, and who we don't right. so well, yeah it, i'd like a clear set of criteria so that yep. you know there's no chance for us to be biased yep. or uh, yeah, and it says the the Board of Health may require the applicant to provide additional information to the to that permit or deferment, right. whatever it's called. So I think part of that would be presenting to the board. Right, and there's a whole hearing process. So you'll, well, I think you'll... this hearing is just once okay. to make the deferment process go live, not that we have to have a public hearing for each person that's applying okay. for it. So it'll be a public hearing inviting the town. Oh, okay. Inviting them. Um, the Board of Health needs to do that? The public hearing? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So we'll so figure, anyway, it, we'll figure to, it out. Talk to Carolyn and figure out what yeah. we need to do, and we'll set up the meeting. You know, once we yeah. have a sense of our process, yep. we will, we'll do that. I mean, I'm... I'm it's a great learning opportunity. <laughs> yes, exactly. Getting me back in the saddle. <laughs> Thank you for all of your uh, work on that. Um, do you have Ben's email there? Um, I do in my email. Can you email Ben and ask him? I think we had asked him before. We would like to get an update uh, from him on uh, charges for reinspections. Mm. We for him? for if they didn't have people who have failed inadequate twice, primary yeah, inspections yeah, we and then gonna, reinspection. You know, if he has to go back a third time and a yep. fourth time and a fifth time, we wanted to have some kind of a feed schedule set up for Great. that. Um and he's busy, so I don't want to stress him out, but I'd like to I'd like to get that at some point because I think he's been in that situation a few times and I'd mm -hmm. like for them. Yep. to get to get that money. There always tends to be themes. Yeah. Well, do we have anything, any other business? Go ahead, Peter. Permits. Oh, permits. permits. Okay. Yes, permits, permits. So all of these are renewal. So uh, I'll just I'll, I'll just go through them quickly. Yeah. So Gibbs Oil, they're renewing um, for food. Which I always think is so funny because it's now the mobile station. Yeah. I, but yeah. it's always still been the Gibbs what is permit. This? Yeah. The mobile station. Yeah. Or the, the it, sorry, it, which it's, is it 66? Yeah, I think it, it I, was 66 yeah, and now it's, it's mobile, mobile now. now. Yeah. But, but it, I mean, it's, 20 it, years ago it was Gibbs. It yeah. was what? Gibbs. G I B B S. Okay. But they, so, so, but their application came in as Gibbs. Yeah, it matches. So, so they, they, they have all their documentation okay. and so on and so forth. Um, so that's number one. This is, uh, I need to fix this one, but uh, we received an application from um, Four Seasons Wide Liquor on Route 9. Yeah. They want to renew their um, <clears throat> tobacco uh, license or permit. Um, I just need to tweak something on this, but they're all, yeah, again, it's a renewal. They paid. Yeah, they okay. they're the always documentation. good. Shouldn't be a problem there. And they always um, pass their things well. This one, uh, we're still waiting for information, so I'm not going to bore you with that. Um, Genji Sushi. Oh, that's in... Is that in Whole Foods? It's That's in Whole, in Whole Foods. Right. It's in Whole Foods now. <laughs> um, 
they're renewing. Um, they sent all, again all their documentation. Yeah, so they're very so thorough. They paid, um, and Walmart. Um, they paid us um, for food that is uh, sold in their store. Again, piles of documentation. Yeah. Uh, again, they've paid. They the have meat. whole people that just do that. Yeah. It's amazing. And then uh, Pulse uh, okay. Cafe on yeah. Route 9, the side of Route 9. Again, it's just a renewal. Right. Of, again, they sent all the documentation. Okay, really. um, so if you can vote on those uh, before you do, just let you know, um, we should have another one coming in tomorrow or Monday from uh, Home Depot. And then another one from... Somebody reached out to me. Marshall's target. One of the big ones. Who that was it? We should have like yeah. 150 of them coming in. Yeah. But there, there, there's there's two that have reached out to us right. because they hadn't heard anything from right. us yet. Um, so uh, we just need to make sure that uh, we leave space on the agenda now for at least the next two or three yeah. meetings yeah. because they're going to come in fast. They sure us. So, but anyway, so those five that I mentioned, if you guys can vote on those. Yes. Um, I'd like to make a motion. Yes. Second. Second. Except that good. Correct. Correct. Two zero zero. That's the, okay. that's all I've got. Um, what should we do about meetings mm -hmm. moving forward? Well, we have one on the books for the twenty second. The twenty second. Yeah, the yeah. next one is December twenty second. We don't okay. have anything yet for January. All right. Should we put one for the fifth? For for those permits? Is that what you're thinking? It's just every two weeks so we get these yeah, permits. Yeah. So January fifth. Okay, yeah. okay, so we have the twenty second and then the fifth. We are getting things done. Um the other thing that we are looking moving forward, um, I'm gonna be out of town. I'm hoping to be out of town from the middle of January to the end of February. So um, I don't know if we want to do hybrid, if that's possible, or you and Margaret could certainly manage quite well without me. So let's think about okay. what you think works best. Sure. So, so Alex can... Susan participated in the mm -hmm. meetings remotely mm -hmm. using whatever we're using now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I can so, participate remotely. Yep. How does that work? You would go on Zoom. Right. Oh, there's a Zoom link. So I would definitely go uh, to see Jen, Jennifer in the select board office and oh, I, I, request I, a Zoom I, link. Pull your mask down. I can't understand. Okay. Yeah. So I would definitely have Peter or Ben reach out to Jennifer in the select board office to set up a Zoom link for it. So we've done it with um, with the Russell School Committee that I'm on. Mm -hmm. We've done it several times where okay. there's some people on All right, in yeah. person with right. the owl. Yep. So are, do and, you feel okay with we did, Okay. We, so we, we did Zoom so when we, earlier this year. So when we have our January 8th, I don't know, November 12th. Is that the week? No, that was just yes. week up. 19th when we have our january 5th meeting we will pick when our next few meetings are and sure. then somebody will interact with jennifer okay that sounds great good. i mean i have no problem sure. doing the meeting yeah, I, I deal with jennifer every day so okay oh, she, she what's happening me. with our emails oh she called me today and said the logins were ready and i have to call her back oh, but okay, then no. today was a while uh, my day went sideways at work <laughs> Okay. So when that happens, mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you to help me set that up here on my... Oh, golly. On your Apple thing? Yeah, my computer. Uh, I'm a PC so, so gal. You need to call Jen. I like my you need to call Jennifer. I need to call Jennifer. Yeah, all of the for, for yours. Because yeah, I'm know. not supposed to know what your logins right. are. Right, right. So each one of you have to right. call. So yeah. now that to use that, you have to go into that Microsoft... It's probably an Outlook email. What is that? Yeah, it's it, 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 it's going to be Outlook, and it's going to be uh, you're going through. Uh, uh, you'll, you'll, 
That's 364. Deer in the headlight. Okay. I've just been doing formatting okay. all day and, and some programming. Okay, so I'm just going through. So you'll you're gonna email did you send Ben a little email to remind him? Great. Okay. Uh do we have any other uh I, I have nothing. I'm good. This is like a meeting for the books. Seven thirty. Yeah. I have nothing. All right. Well I guess we will adjourn the meeting. Great. And um I'll send out the